So in this video, we'll talk about uh, arrays usage in the SysML simulation. And uh, we'll start from this uh, simple but common case when we have uh, values, multiple values, like with multiplicity many here in the system properties. And in this case, we have system, we have total, let's say here, total right in the system model. And then we have parts. One part has, you see, like values, uh, which has multiplicity many, you know, it could be, you know, many parts or could be like values of many, right? And then we have uh, uh, values, uh, also multiple values here. As you can see here, we also setting non-unique property, uh, which is uh, available, uh, is unique here, false by default, because, uh, you know, if it is unique, then all the values should be different, you know, which is not necessarily the case and then uh, so how to like for example you can uh, run this model here run here and then uh, see that you see uh, your parts they have single value right uh, and you can right click here and add uh, uh, remove or you know or add those values here add one value and uh, uh, add more values if I will have multiplicity here menu instead of one I would be able to right click add more values uh, but uh, how to save those values, you know, so you just select, uh, you know, the system and save as instance. When you save as instance, we have here instance uh, and an instance table. We can see that um, this instance has actually has system, subsystems, right? Uh, the total here, whatever it could be empty here, right? Uh, it's even confusing when the total is already saved here and inputs might be different right already and here are those values right so um, uh, now if i will take this instance and simulate as you know it will load this block but with the initial values and now i have subsystems with multiple values so that's how the values of array saved in the instance or you know block uh, runtime instance model so here we have them right uh, as you can see And then you can add uh, one more value. You see, like I can add one more. You see, it's added. Also for this guy, you know, I can add one more. And because it has default value as one, so it shows this default as like something, right? I can change any of those values, right? I can change any of those values. And then once I select the total, I can save it like new instance or existing instance, okay. So this is um, my instance. So here we have this instance, right? So now how to manipulate it with those values, which are uh, pretty much array, you know? So now we know how to load, how to save, right? So we saved, we loaded, right? And then the simulation would save automatically in, in any case to instance if we set this. But um, uh, now how to manipulate with that instance? So here we have parametric diagram, right? Uh, so this parametric diagram, uh, so here we have inside of the system block parametric diagram. Here we have total constraint, and this total constraint is in language which is Python, and it depends on the uh, depends on the um, syntax of the language. It could be different, uh, you know, uh, uh, functions possible. So here we have inputs coming as array from system two and from system one, and then we can take any using like very simple notation here a square brackets number in array so three would be the number here and then number one and then output and the output would be like nine in this case right uh, so now let's change that like say like for example b i will take a fourth four and then uh, uh, rerun that run here you go so now we got a result oh I, and uh, that's good mistake you know I did you know so I run this parametric diagram instead of running you know the instance right so I need to go here or here and run the instance run instance so this executes this instance and then uh, we get results as a nine, right? So let's check. We get a three here from 
a a is this one and this is one and number four from uh, from b okay so now uh, let's uh, run this instance so right click simulation run and we get result, right? So we can change which parameter we'll take. Now, uh, you see here, there is important things. So for example, multiplicity should be uh, from one to many, uh, or like some number, because you know that constrains how many values you get. Also on the parameter should be many multiplicity, same here. Now let's do like sum. So let's take the more common case that we have in multiple inputs here, multiple inputs here, and we want to sum here to total. So that would be also, you know, one of the functions of the array in uh, in Python, Jython in the, our case. So let's take A input plus some um, B input, right? And then let's uh, execute this instance. So we can run from here, from in table, and we get 25. So we get 25 now, and then we can select this and save to the instance because by default it does not save. So it's now save to the instance and we have this. Okay, so this was first part of this working with arrays. So we now see how the, to work with arrays, you know. Uh, uh, now uh, let's do more advanced case. Uh, and then let's go to the sample. Here we have uh, if we have activity diagram, we have some context which has some properties and we have activity. And those opaque actions, you see here, creates the list, sets the values in the array, then uh, adds the specific value into the index uh, number. So by default one, adds the one is this one, you know, the zero is this one, adds the value, value is uh, like, uh, for example, 55. So it will be zero, 55, zero, zero, then passes this array as an object to all those, calculates the sum, calculates the length, uh, gets the uh, value from uh, this uh, number of parameter, uh, uh, like first parameter, so it'll be this one, uh, and then um, gets last uh, number uh, in the array and uh, also creates new array, so adds one array. And some of those actions are Python, you know, like see, for example, specification we have here, Python, right? Some of them, most of them are JavaScript specification, and Python, you know, some of them are JavaScript actually, JavaScript, you see. Uh, so, okay, let's run this one. You see those are the initial properties. Let's slow down, execute. This array goes here. Array comes in. And all of that is performed. You see like a new array gets created and so on. So now I can stop pretty much. All of that is already done, I think. Okay, stop because once it will quit, it will quit here. So I get, you know, a new array created, you see. And then um, uh, now how to take any value from this array. So I have array of the values. I can pass it, you see, like uh, through the object here, as they did here through the pin. Uh, just the one thing, you know, that you need to be careful that pin would have multiplicity as a many here. Multiplicity should be many. Otherwise, it will pass just one value. Now, what to do is to get one or another value. You know, you now you know how to uh, get like last value, for example, or how to add specific value into the array. You know, but how to uh, read any of the values? So let's say, like for example, first is the new. new array of the zero zero will be first uh, first uh, let's set the jiton as a language and run So here we go, we got this one, you know, if I want to get next one, you know, I can do like one. If 
I want to sum, I, I know already how to sum here. If I want to do something else, I can do something else. If I want to save as, uh, you know, instance, I just select this one. Or in simulation config, you can save into a specific instance, you can a specific folder, you know, and so on. I just save as instance, pick the location, saved. Why to do it? Because then next time you could load just from the instance, for example, right click, simulation, run. Yes, you see now I loaded all the data here. And also I could save at the end, right? So it makes sense, you know. Now I know how to manipulate with array, you know. Uh, one more case, you know, when we have, you know, for example, array is parametric diagram here. So parametric, there's some constraints. Yeah, and here in parametric diagram, I can get a new array. I can do some uh, if statements uh, and then perform multiple operations. As you can see here, with the arrays and then get the values and let's run this parametric diagram. And immediately it executed everything. And here we have, for example, total, right? Recalculated automatically. Yeah, here you go. So total is reacting to this one. Yeah, so those samples will be available in the description of the video. And uh, this is two parts video. So the second part will talk about how to read from Excel and uh, uh, work with that array. Thank you.